The new dating game, how technology has changed the way that we date and relate. I know that we have been experiencing a massive shift and some of us have been having a hard time adapting. A lot of us have resorted to being very, very angry. Some of us are in a moment of despair, disgruntled and simply given up on the dating and relationship game. Some of us are waiting for our turn to die so we can just move on with our lives. <laughs> because dating has become so weird. We do not have a blueprint for dating in the 21st century. Hey, our parents were the only blueprint we had about how to connect, how to find love, and how to truly uh, be with somebody. However, the world has since changed since our parents were on the scene, since our grandparents are on the scene, and now we are left to find our way through what I would call the wild, wild west. Thank goodness for you, you have guides like ourselves here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy who will be more than happy to hold your hand as we explore this new dating and relationship space with you and how technology has changed and what we can do at this time to really change the way we do things and win. I'll see you on the other side. Hello, my name is Chengi. I am your dating and relationship expert here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy, where we teach you ladies how to present as a high value, high status and high worth woman that high quality men find completely irresistible. If that is you, then you are on the right channel and I'm really excited to take this journey with you. Do not forget to subscribe, like and share. And of course, you can always call any of our coaches on our Black Swan Relationship app and connect with them and get some advice and meet the beautiful Black Swan community that resides on our Black Swan Relationship app. Without further ado, let us get into point number one. What technology has been able to do is give us amazing ways to date, but terrible ways to have a relationship. Technology gives us an opportunity to meet people in places that we would have never been able to meet. It gives us an opportunity to attach ourselves to different humans, but it makes it very difficult for us to connect. Now, with the rise of being able to simply swipe right or swipe left, our brains have been taught to believe that the very thing that used to be sacred, the very thing that used to be precious is now in abundance. You see, the thing is the human mind values that which is scarce. We put great worth and value on things that are scarce, hard to find, hard to get. And for a long time in our history, value, the value of a relationship was not something that you could just replace. You would only date the person who was in your local area or somebody who was at school, somebody within your geographical space and place. And so you were really fortunate and really lucky to find that pairing, somebody who you could build with and dream of a better future with. However, now we don't actually have only those options, we have multiple. There's this idea to the mind that this is now abundant, that you can replace one person with another by the swipe of a finger, that you don't have to honor, you don't have to respect, you don't have to tolerate, you don't have to enjoy, you don't have to go through any of the hard stuff that comes with a relationship in order for you to connect. What you have to do and what you can do is swipe along and find somebody else. But I hear somebody saying, but that's not so easy. It's not so easy. You can swipe and keep swiping all day and you can't find somebody to replace this person with because sometimes along the way we make that connection and that connection often is built on something that is way more shallow than we believe. I was on the BBC One radio and we were talking about and I was asked the question about what is really going on in the dating space and I want to explain this to you and go into it even more in depth. We need to understand the difference between an attachment, a connection and how those things actually happen. You see, in order for us 
to attach in a healthy and secure way, we first need to connect. And in order for us to connect, we have to be authentic. We have to show up authentically because the real essence, the real you who lives inside of you is the only person with the capacity to connect because that real person has the capacity for vulnerability. If we cannot be vulnerable, then we cannot connect because vulnerability is that piece of us that says, I bleed, I'm like you. I have the same worries, I have the same fears, I worry about rejection too. And another part of the other person that says, yeah, I'm like you. Vulnerability is the peace that we recognize in each other. And technology has made it easier than ever before to hide our authenticity. We're more afraid to be authentic self because there's so many avatars, so many images online that say the authentic self is inferior to the required standard. Now we have to have boob jobs and we have to change our body to suit whatever is trending on social media or on the digital space because we no longer feel enough. We no longer feel that our womanhood, we no longer feel that our personhood, our divine nature, our divinity is enough. We now have to be an avatar. And to as close or as far as we fit into the avatar is as much as we feel that we truly deserve to be loved, truly feel worthy. And so many of us will never meet that standard. Here I am sitting with you and I've got a belly and I've got cellulite and I have all these other things going on in my body that make me less than perfect. And so it's easier to project an image of perfection. It's easier online because with the right angles, with the right, with the right lighting and with the right composition, we can create a fantasy about who we are. And so it's tempting to do that because that way we can prevent ourselves from being vulnerable. Now, why do we fear being vulnerable so much? Well, because as we opened ourselves up to the opportunity of meeting many, many people, we went out there with no understanding of the true nature of beings when they are in a place where they feel abundant. We've experienced each other in a place and a space where love was a rare and beautiful thing to be cherished, to be nurtured, to be looked out for. We experienced each other in those ways and so when it became abundant and I could love anyone and connect with anybody, we were shocked at the nature, the other side of the human being that came out as a result of this amazing sense of abundance. The discardation of each other, the ghosting of each other, the getting rid of each other mercilessly, ghosting each other. And all these phenomenons came on because I could just disappear off the face of the earth. I could literally be a digital person that you speak to over the phone, see over a video, and I could actually just disappear. I didn't have to have an honest conversation with you. I didn't have to face my fears. I didn't have to be vulnerable. And so many of us were on the receiving end and some of us on the giving end of this behavior. What that created was deep pain and deep suffering and a triggering of a lot of our childhood trauma and it has really just come to the surface. And so now we are scared like hell to have our hearts broken. We are so scared to open ourselves up because there's always another predator willing to swipe right or swipe left if we do not meet the mark. This has become the most plenteous space with so much opportunity but the most difficult place to be emotionally, the most difficult place to show up authentically. And so those who have become exhausted with showing up authentically in the world, inauthentically in the world, have resorted to contemplating a life of perpetual singleness. Some of us have hidden in the pews of the church and are praying real hard that somehow some gorgeous, amazing man is gonna tap us on the shoulder and say, the Lord hath sent me. And some of us are just hoping that we will have a moment of serendipity when we will just be in the right place at the right time and meet that person who reflects our values and who makes it possible for us to show up vulnerably and show authentic self. Because what are the core needs of the human? We are hardwired for connection, but until we are authentic, we cannot connect. And so what we are doing is replacing connection for attachment. And of course, these attachments become unhealthy because we're attaching anxiously or we're attaching in the void and dismissive style. We're attaching at arm's length, attaching anyway, or we are anxious all the time. A healthy attachment comes when we show up authentically when we feel free to shop authentically and we walk through the door of vulnerability. And so what do we do? What when we do when we all feel replaceable, when we all feel 
like there's always something better on the other side of the swipe? What do we do when we feel like the person that we've given our hearts to, the person that we desire, has a million other options on the other side? What we have done is panic. What we have done is being angry. What we have done is given up. What we have done is just go to the ends of the earth seeking solutions and ideas. But I want you to know that there is a way through. In this modern day, we are now required to do something. We will only have love when we show bravery. Yes, the time has come for us now to separate the brave from those who are not so brave. This is the funny thing is whilst the internet has provided a wonderful place for us to hide behind our avatars, it has also created an amazing opportunity for people who are brave to show up authentically to actually become the standout people, to actually become the people that are highly sought out to become the new high value. Is it about throwing yourself into the dating market again as though you're a child with no wisdom, with no knowledge, with no understanding? Of course not. It's about fine tuning your energy. Now this is something that I was not able to go further into as we discussed with our beautiful hosts. But I want you to understand that we now navigate the world through energy, through frequencies, through airwaves, through radio waves, through all of these things. Our money moves through radio waves. Everything is happening on an energetic level. That indicates something about us as humans. We also need to operate from a highly spiritual level. We now need to tap into our spirituality because our spirituality is our truest essence. Our true self, our authentic self is our spiritual self. And we know that our spiritual self is the most powerful self, the most whole self, the most unaffected self, and the self in us that cannot be destroyed, hurt, or broken. We now need to lean into our truest essence, but how do we do that? When we're still afraid. Are you feeling stuck and don't know where to start? Oh, you have already given up on the dating game. Well, don't you dare because this summer we at the Black Sun Relationship Academy have an amazing retreat for you. It is our digital retreat and it's on the 17th of June 2023 where we will get you unstuck and let you have the first steps. This is for you ladies who are ready to take a new step into the unknown. Maybe you need to refresh your course. Maybe you just need to reinvent yourself. But you you don't know where to start. You're really feeling stuck dating the same man. You probably quit and are lying in your bed right now, flicking channels. Wherever you are, we're here for you. And this retreat is for you. We get so much value. And guess what? You will pay whatever you like. This is an event that is a gift to you. We look forward to seeing you. Our first ever retreat 2023. So all you have to do is follow the link in our bio or download the Black Swan app where you'll be able to access all of the links that you need. The fear that you're feeling is not because of the changes happening in the world. It is not because of all the things and all the changes that are going on in the world. The fear is coming from all of the triggers of the issues that we would not deal with. I am excited to live in this day and age and I'm going to tell you why. Because this will be the healthiest age of humans ever before. We're entering into a, into a place and space that though it is wild, it is requiring that we heal. It is requiring that we do the work. It is requiring that we come to the knowledge of self. That we finally tune in to the self. That we finally shut out the noises. That we finally shut out the distractions. That we finally shut out the fears of being with ourselves. And as we grow and as we begin to tune into ourselves, then our spirit will send out the right frequency and the right vibration to the right person who is also operating on that frequency. High value people had already and are already in that space. Your partner is not going to be found because you are pretty, albeit these things matter because we are still human beings having an earthly reality in an earthly suit and there are implications to that that we will still want things to smell nice look nice taste nice in order to exist in this world but we must elevate ourselves to the highest dimension of ourselves that means dealing and healing with the trauma so that the true essence of who we are can manifest itself in our soul in our action in our decision making in our speech in our dem in our demeanor in the way 
that we show up in the world in such a way that anything that is inauthentic, anything that doesn't feel true, that doesn't feel right, is repelled by our very essence. We just don't want it in our space. And what begins to happen is we begin to open up our space for those people and those things that are vibrating at our frequency. I have been a dating and relationship expert for many years. I've spoken to thousands and thousands of women and I will say this to you. All, when our clients go through the Soulmate Attraction System course, which is a course that I designed in order for us to really peel back the trauma and peel back the stories and peel back the, 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 the pain that we have created the moment that happens for many many of our clients new opportunities for love appeared that would have never appeared before they begin to experience dating experiences that never thought were possible for them they begin to meet men of a certain caliber and a certain quality this is important because when we do the healing we make space for our spirit to have room and a place in our lives so we have to no longer, we can no longer in the 21st century, in this day and age, in the day of tech, we can no longer ignore the need to be well, the need to be emotionally well, the need to be spiritually well. And we cannot not pay the piper because we will pay the piper if we don't. But here's what I love. It has been reported that there is more relationship satisfaction now than there's ever been before. Because now we are requiring more. Now we are saying, I have been hurt so many times. I've been disappointed so many times. And now I am ready to truly embrace somebody who genuinely loves me. We have truly started to create a world where relationships are healthy. The relationships of the past seemed to have been healthy because they had longevity. But actually when we begin to reflect and if you sit in my seat and hear the stories that I hear, a lot of the dysfunction we, this generation is experiencing is because of this function that was displayed by the generation before. The generation apparently that had the best relationships because they stayed together. In fact, many of my clients struggle and suffer from a lot of trauma from parents that stayed together just as much as those that did not because those relationships did not ask as much as we are able to ask. So perhaps we're a greedy generation, but I believe that we're the generation that if we get it right and we're prepared to do the work, we'll set up the next generations for a profound love and profound relationships that will outlast the earth and create true and meaningful love. We have an opportunity here, ladies. We have an opportunity to create a legacy of love that will never be taken away, to have our names written on the wall of the legacy of love, to say that I did the work. This dating market, this dating playing field will only have champions in the space where people are growing, healing, and doing the work. This applies to men as well as women, but we cannot be looking across the pond to see if the men are doing the work. We have to prepare to do the work. I know that you are hoping that I would tell you to do something different. Don't date online, go into the real world. I have news for you. The men that are in the gym, the men that are in the golf course, the men that are in the world are also on dating apps. And we all need to learn to connect. If you cannot connect on one level, you cannot connect on any levels. It's time for us to know that we are enough. It's time to know that we matter. And it's time to know that who we are is so beautiful and so individual that she is worth loving all day and every day. It is time for us to step out and spread our black swan wings and say, here I am, rare as I may be, I will not settle for anything other than that which resonates with my spirit. I hope that we're able to really understand that it is required of us to dig deep inside. Take the time out, but do the work. Don't take the time out and sit at home and hope that you will get over your last heartbreak and now you're ready to throw yourself in. Take the time out. Join the Black Swan Nation, the group of women that are doing the work together, encouraging each other, crying together, working through their traumas together. Call a coach, connect with one. Let us help you work through your trauma, work through your stories so you can truly be ready. There's all the resources you could ever want in courses here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. We're not just here telling you what to do and giving you advice. We're here to educate you so that emotionally, mentally, spiritually, you are ready to step into the world and find the love that you crave. 
and deserve. We will continue talking about how the digital world and technology has changed relationships, but I'm going to leave this here with you today and we will explore many other points as we go along on this series. If you like it, make sure you press the like so that I can continue to do this series for you and keep giving you solutions to dating in this day and age. If you don't, put a thumbs down so that we know not to do many of these. But I definitely look forward to seeing you on our event that is coming up soon where you ladies will be able to participate in a workshop that will give you the intricate details. Speaking to our coaches is going to be fantastic. It's going to be a fantastic digital retreat and I look forward to seeing you on that retreat. In the meantime, do take care of you. Love you lots. Bye-bye now. Well done for coming to the end of this video. What I want to ask you is, what have you learned? What is your takeaway? And what are you going to start practicing right away? Those three things are how you are going to get the best out of every class here at the Black Swan Relationship Academy. Please put it in the comments so that we can all have a look. So I can have a look, the coaches can have a look. And I promise you, we read every comment. We may not be able to reply to every comment, but we read all the comments and we want to see how you are growing. And we will see you on the next video.